Hi guys, this is my Labrador and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be speaking English because some of you guys commenting about my hyperthyroid radioactive radiation that I have been through and I was diagnosed since 2019. So in this video, I will be talking about uh, the side effects after radiation because some of you guys are so afraid of this procedure so let me tell you based on my experience this time and i hope you will watch this video until the end because it's this is really helpful to each one of you who been through in this kind of illness as i have hyperthyroid and uh, autoimmune system disorder grief disease <music> welcome back again for new subscribers uh, welcome here on my channel and thank you for coming by and to all my old subscribers thank you all so much for being so supportive here on my channel and I'm sorry that I am not so active uh, due to my illness I am taking my time slow spending much time for my health and doing my work and you know there are some trials in life that unexpectedly come that losing all my confidence in life like I'm dream I'm dream yeah it's it's a really a bad 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 situation in my life I thought that 2021 will be the best year of my life but right then as I entered the 2021 it was like a devastated journey until up this time but I'm just trying to live each day and keep on going keep on living because that's how it should be so anyway no more dramas i will share you about uh, based on my experience on this journey of grip disease hyperthyroidism autoimmune system disorder which is i was diagnosed since tw june 2019 and I'm sorry about my voice. I just came back from Turkey. Uh, we've been there for almost a month. And but as I came back, I have a uh, uh, how you call that cough and uh, rainy nose. And I thought that I might have COVID since I was so exposed in Turkey without without using mask mask most of the time. And as I said, my health is not that strong, especially my immune system, which is really needed to be strong during this time of pandemic. But my body is draining and everything come in between. Charot. <laughs> so why I'm speaking English? Because some of you guys commenting about this um, uh, regime. So I'm not fluent in English, but I'm trying my best. Oh, so sorry about my pronunciation because we we went to a different kind of school <laughs> just joking so i did my radioactive radiation on july 6 yeah a couple of months back and um it was a not so easy journey for as you know as the doctor speak you about this uh procedure because it might not be risky compared to the uh, if you go through um, thyroidectomy something like that that you will go into surgery or remove of some part of your thyroid thyroid or removing it all but the radiation is also risky for some part of our body because as I read and some explain that for the long run it might cause us some leukemia or something like that but I hope it will not and the radiation is some some of the people will really affect them during the procedure as as soon as they take the medicine some people like go through vomiting and uh, uh, risking a high risk of the symptoms for example the symptoms of uh, hyperthyroid is uh anxiety anxiety is the number one you can sleep you don't understand yourself sometimes you just woke up and feeling so tired and then uh you can you can like 
you don't understand why you're losing so much weight when you're eating you know, when you're eating every day taking off your, all your meals but still your weight is still draining draining for example mine i was before i was diagnosed i am 57 kilos and then it's dropped rapidly to 45 kilos i was so small like i become so skinny that time which is good like you're losing weight but as you can see now that i'm gaining weight because uh after I'm taking the medication, the 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 illness is still there because the medication was giving me a new Mercosol. It's only for controlling the symptoms that I have. For example, the tremors. So if I don't take that a new Mercosol before, I could have more and more tremors, like shaking. And aside from tremors, I have a anxiety. I mean, I have a to call that palpitation palpitation is very crucial because you might have you know it might cause your heart failure something like that so i decided to talk up my uh, radiation after two years of this hyperthyroid journey so the radiation is giving me a high dose radiation like second to the highest dose uh, 135 31 uh, radiation they give me two capsule that day and then I took it from the hospital then I went home straight so now it's been like uh, two almost two months from radiation then I went for a follow-up blood test um, two weeks ago then the result come out yesterday Monday so that's why I decided to make video now because the result from my previous uh, blood test was normal like my my hormone balance it became normal and so far so good I don't feel any palpitation at all I feel tired sometimes like I'm losing breath then the tremors is gradually like after you're taking the radiation all the symptoms they will not like go away really fast it's gradually because I've been almost two months now since from radiation so it's gradually low see uh going slow going slow and then until you feel nothing of all the symptoms and then as i talked to my doctor yesterday monday and he told me that my hormones i become normal but he's hoping that my situation it will not get worse like lower to the going to the hypo which is i don't want to be hypo because if you become hypo you are entitled to have a uh, medicine for a long time of hormones you know you need to take a hormone medicine to cover off the instead of your thy thyroid producing the hormones but since the radiation will shrink our thyroid or probably kill our thyroid with this process because the radiation procedures is for a killing of the cells for cancer but some of uh radiation killed are totally killed our thyroid but i asked him yesterday if my thyroid now is die and he said your thyroid now is still producing hormones but some of the patients will took them took them like six months before they know that if the thyroid is still functioning or not so i still have a long long journey to go on this uh this illness actually the hyperthyroid guys you have if you have this you have to really think that this is the life 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 sentence this is the life illness that you will be going through so as one of you are afraid for the radiation if the doctor telling you that you must go to radiation please do so because it will help you it will help you to prolong your life it will help you to live more years in your life because the risky of a heart failure will be gone away will be go away because of the radiation will control everything like slowly putting back your life into place like that which is we're hoping like i'm i'll be going back to normal and um so the doctor gave me a follow-up checkup after two months so i will be doing the overall blood blood check for 
November, I, yeah, November. So he he gave me this form. This is the form that I have. Everything, my records from the hospital since I was diagnosed. So he gave me this uh, for the next time journey of blood test will give me a lipid profile, rhinal profile, then the thyroid, TSH, and FT4 to check everything because some, like I said, the radiation will cause something, 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 <laughs> something part in our body and I hope I will not go through leukemia or something like scary thing that happened to us and especially we have this history of bone marrow cancer which my dad died from that and then even my sister told me to have a check up about bone marrow because as I watch in YouTube uh, this great disease starting from the bone marrow tissues and the bacteria is eating his own this bacteria is eating my own cells in my body something like that so we're not really a doctor so we just try to look for uh, answer for so many questions that I have so any one of you guys who been through in this don't be afraid to take graduation look at me now I'm alive my voice is not that much good because I have a little bit of a cough in rainy nose but so far so good for this journey everything is went through everything is good uh, I don't feel tired at all but I asked the doctor like if my if my hormones will become normal like my thyroid producing normal hormones why I feel like my muscles my muscles guys is not strong this is because of the grief disease that I have so the grief disease will really if you I, I read some comment like some of us having this kind of illness that you can't walk because you're really losing your muscles like your muscle will become so weak so the doctor gave me today yesterday a uh, microcalium this is a potassium and he said that I gotta give you a potassium that you will be taking this for two months until your next check up then after that we will see what your blood test will gonna tell us and it will go more to another part of medication and i'm just really hoping and praying that i will not go through with the hypo because i don't want to have a lifetime medicine you know to be taken so and I'm, I'm sharing you with all my experience please don't be afraid to take the radiation uh, all you have to do during radiation is you have to be isolated for seven days as in alone in the bathroom alone in your room because the radiation will cause cancer to the people near you uh, most especially to the child so just get ready for the procedure and go through it don't be afraid guys just think about your life and before I, I do before I haven't done a radiation I cannot talk like this because I always feel like I, I'm catching my breath all the time if you want to see the previous video that I have but right now even I have rainy nose uh, capping but I can still concentrate to talk I don't feel burden like I don't feel a, um, any pain in my my heart as I was talking so I probably I'm probably saying like I'm getting much much better each day which I'm so thankful to the God Lord to the people to my employer and every one of you guys have been praying for me so thank you and I hope I hope that you guys will all get better so we all get we all get through this so keep on praying don't lose hope and just don't be afraid go through the procedure and enjoy your life you know think about that i'm gonna live much longer so thank you all so much for the support and i hope to see you guys on my next one i still have a lot of videos from our turkey tour so i don't have much time to edit some of it but when i have time i will upload for sure so that's all for today and see you again on my next one god bless you and stay safe bye bye